how do I get as many legendaries as possible in a short time? On December 14th, the paths that drop stated the following. The chance to receive legendary and set items as a drop has been increased by 250% for players far below the server paragon level. As a player gets closer to the server paragon level, these increased drop rates will decrease. Well, that has been a mystery as to what that actually means, what the breakdown of the numbers, etc., looks like. But there has been a, how should we put it, a new character unlocked, a second data miner from the grassy knoll has shown himself and dropped some latest information about this. So this man on Reddit here, no Tams down, 21 hours ago posted the under Paragon legendary boost chart, which we're gonna break down in just a second. Now I did a little snoopy on this guy because I wanted to know, the only thing he's done is post this and said that it was day the mind information. That's it, it's a pretty much fresh account. There's nothing to see here, folks. So now the one thing is, is I was a little bit hesitant because there's only one day the miner I know of that's got pretty much everything right that we've seen so far. So I shot this over to him and he broke down a few things looking at this first and foremost orange rate and green rate are apparently actually terms in the code itself so this looks like it would stand to logic the other thing is the 150 percent is effectively the bonus not necessarily the total but the which means that you're getting a total legendary fine of 250 percent because you're looking at the increase so at 49 paragon levels below you would get 150 percent bonus over the top of what is your base level of 100% for a total of 250% acquisition. Does that make sense? That's how this works. So if you're wondering why it says 150% here, but this says here 250%, that's the difference. The only other thing is there's one argument to be made. This is actually says the chance to receive legendary set items as a drop rate has been increased by 250%. That's not technically true. The legendary set item has been increased by 150 to 250%, they're different numbers. That makes sense. If this was being increased by 250, then this chart would show 250 here. And on this chart, then uh, it would represent 350 total. Okay. But let's look at how it actually breaks down. So if you take a look here at, if you're above Paragon, you have 0% bonus, which is why you still obviously can get legendaries when you're above Surf Paragon, you have your normal 100%. Then as you go 5%, 10%, 15, 20%, 25, 30, et cetera, these are effectively, as it starts to climb, getting towards that 50 Paragon below. I was under the impression right around 40 Paragon below is when most of the stuff starts to kick in. I was wrong, so I'm correcting myself on that, which is part of the reason I'm showing this up. I didn't think this actually kicked into the all into your 40 below, because why did I think that? On the previous bonus experience event, in fact, I made a video showing like, the experience event is bugged. Like I'm getting 0% bonus, even though I'm like 30 levels below. I went and confirmed, actually the way that works is in that server event, you have to be 40 Paragon levels below or more. And if you're 40 Paragon levels below or more, then you get the double experience. So I was assuming that they had a system for it's like below Paragon significantly means 40 below, but it's actually quite better than that. You don't have to be very far below server Paragon to start getting bonuses. Literally at minus one, you get 5%. So if you're one level behind, you get 5%. So if you were feeling like, hey, I haven't played in like a week, I'm 14 levels behind, I feel like I'm getting items a lot more. Well, you're correct. You are actually. Something that's interesting about this is, it makes me wonder the elephant in the room. Can you guys guess what the elephant in the room is? Leave it in a comment right here before the spoiler. It is Magic Find. How exactly does Magic Find work with this? What is the point of Magic Find if the easiest way to get a large increase is by literally not playing the game? Kind of weird. I mean, I guess it's catch up experience, but it, it makes a few questions. You know what I mean? It makes me wonder like, does Magic Find just an addition, like is my, what is it, 90% magic find or whatever, make it where I'm basically 32 Paragon levels below the server at all times? Is that what the game is, is effectively giving me? Is this the same thing as magic find? Do we have a base 100% magic find and then it goes up from there? Does this have nothing to do with magic find? What is magic find? Honestly, that's kind of what I would like to know just more than anything, which is kind of another separate topic entirely. I know, I know there's a million different theories and everyone you ask will tell you that they know exactly what magic find is, but I've yet to really see like a 100% complete solid data driven something. It's always, oh, my brother's sister's roommate has, you know, 300% magic find and he got 18 legendaries today. It's like, great, like I don't really care about literally any of that. 
websites like Wowhead, etc. Pretty much any website that talks about this stuff just says increases the chance for monsters to drop higher quality items. And we wouldn't really need any of these answers if we could have a better description of the game. It says increases the chance for items by monsters to be magic, rare, or legendary. As opposed to what? White monster? White drops? So increases all of them equally? Does it increase legendary less than them? Am I getting more legendaries? Am I getting higher quality legendaries? Like, I don't quite understand what this means. I think if we look at it, it basically just means what it says, which is you get more non-white items. So I would assume every time it's like, is it a white item? No, it's not a white item. Okay, and now it's gonna roll for blue, yellow, orange, and orange is a small rate or whatever, and we get more of those roll attempts, would be my guess personally. The problem is, it's a guess. And there's also things like treasure find, increased equipment drop rate from elite monsters in outdoor areas. By the way, this is getting changed uh, and will be for all everywhere. It will be for dungeons, etc. after the patch that's in about 11 hours, making this significantly better. But also, okay, does the increased equipment drop rate equip the, the base, the base drop rate, which then we roll as a white or you know, yellow, blue, etc. And then we roll if it's yellow, blue, orange. Like, you see what I'm saying? It, 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 there's not transparency is around how the item acquisition actually works. So basically what it boils down to is you get all the things that say they increase your drop rate. You get the Paragon tree, you get the magic find, and yeah, when you're below server Paragon, then yada dada do whoopee, now you're getting a bunch of drops, basically, okay? Now this is pod racing. How many memes can I throw into this? So that's, that's basically what it is, as far as I can tell in all the information out there, because there's not really anything other than just these data mines that show the bonus drop rates. There's not anything that really explains magic find that well. And honestly, even the treasure hunter tree doesn't really explain itself. It's just 50% more equipment. Okay, great. What exactly that means? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. And if anyone tells you they do, well, they're guessing because I would love to see somebody be able to prove it. I've I've literally asked the data miner to pull this stuff up and do it is it's basically impossible. Some of this stuff in the game, trying to find information on it is 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 so scrupulously deep in there that it's impossible to find anything about it. And I I, I honestly doubt even Blizzard knows the answer to this question. That being said, though, this Paragon tree seems to be accurate. It passes the the sniff test, and it passes the test. The data miner thinks that it looks pretty much correct as well. He's got the terminology right. The drop rates kind of make sense every two levels, etc. That seems to be kind of how they do things around the server Paragon, etc. And so it passes the... Passes the eyeball check, which means 150% bonus. You cap out at 49 Paragon below, but even going as much as one, two, three, four Paragon levels below, you're going to be getting increased legendary drop rates. So if you want the answer to how do I get as many legendaries as possible in a short time, if you want that answer, you just got to stop playing the game, ladies and gentlemen. That's all you gotta do. Love y'all. Consider liking, subscribing as it helps me out an absolute ton. We had 44 subscribers on the last video. That's a lot to a guy like me, so thank you very much. Maybe we'll beat it on this one.